This particle is so minuscule that it can neither be seen nor would show any value on a microbalance. Yet scientists have deduced its mass alongside other quantum properties. But how? It all begins with the near light speed rays resulting from electromagnetic field. Photons are accelerated by electric fields which switch from positive to negative at a given frequency creating radio waves that nudge the particle forward. Magnetic fields steer the charged photon into a beam. As the particles keep moving, speed increases. Mass energy equivalence holds. Therefore, as the energy increases, the particle gains mass, boosting its kinetic energy. This large kinetic energy is needed to overcome the electrostatic forces of repulsion between the positively charged protons for the quarks to interact during the collision. Once it approaches the speed of light, scientists collide the photon beams head on, generating subatomic particles that don't normally occur by transforming matter into energy back into different matter with greater masses. Scientists don't need to see particles to study about their properties and interactions. Rather, they analyze a byproduct. Knowing the path traveled by subatomic particles allows one to determine, for instance, the momentum by the path's curvature. Considering the collisions are elastic, using equations, one can work out the mass and other quantum properties. Just like how animal tracks can determine the species, similarly, scientists identify subatomic particles from their traces. Proton collisions define most of what we know about the universe and the quantum world, making this a cornerstone for discovery in quantum physics.